Joining us with more is neurologist Dr. Jonathan Fellis, Medical Director of Rehabilitation at New Jersey's Meadowlands Hospital. Doc, good to see you this morning. Good morning. The doctors at Memorial Hermann in Houston describe her as medically able to attend the shuttle launch on Friday. What does that say to her abilities currently? Well, that means that uh, her doctors really think that her blood pressure is stable and her heart rate and that she's not in imminent danger of a seizure, that her behaviors and her emotions are sufficient for her to get out into the, uh, into the world and, and uh, attend this event. Uh, watching her husband on this historic launch is going to be very emotional. And the one thing that we've heard with the conversations with, with Katie and Mark Kelly are that she still exhibits all those emotions that were there before the injury. How emotional will this be? for her and in people with brain injuries like that how does that affect them it's really a, a big day and it's going to be emotional no matter what uh, I imagine it's always emotional when a loved one is launched into space but for her it's going to be a special day her first big day out of the hospital and uh, people with brain injury do often have problems controlling their emotions there's a name for it it's called pseudobulbar affect and there's even a medication to treat it uh, so it's going to be a challenge for her to keep those in check I think and how difficult will it be for her in her recovery? This is going to be about a two-week period where her husband will not be there for her rehabilitation or to see her two times a day since the injury. How is that going to play in here? Well, it's clear she's so focused and motivated, and she's, she's just such a go-getter that uh, she's going to focus on the job at hand. I, I think uh, uh, she knows that she wants to get better for herself, for her husband, and, uh, and for the country. So I don't think she'll have a problem focusing on her rehabilitation. She's made so much progress, and you keep hearing this doctor saying she's in the top 5%. Uh, of a uh, patient with an injury like this. You, you heard Mark a moment ago say they were playing Scrabble. As far as her relearning, because of where the bullet entered the brain and with the right side being impaired at this point, is there anything that can be done through rehabilitation to accelerate her recovery? Or well, is this more of a marathon? Well, it is. It, it's always uh, how far you've come, but how far you have to go. And uh, uh, certainly uh, the replacement of the, skull, the piece of skull in the coming weeks is something that may accelerate her recovery. Uh, it may also be a, a setback because surgeries are unpredictable. It's controversial. There are some medications that may help her recover faster, uh, but she's such a uh, motivated individual. It's a pleasure to work with her, I'm sure, in rehabilitation. In terms of goals, what's now the next step? It seems as though she's far exceeded anyone's expectations at this point. What's to say she won't continue to? Uh, it, it's clear that in the next two, four, six months, we're, I think we're going to see uh, a lot more recovery of her language and her related cognitive abilities that are related to language. I think we're going to see her uh, walking improve uh, and her, she'll become more and more of herself, more independent. Uh, how much of her arm uh, comes back is, is really difficult to say. Okay. Jonathan Fellas, thank you very much, doctor. Good to see you this morning. You too.